Uh, Justice of Peace is a very important office in any country. In fact, in most common law jurisdictions, as Barbados is one, Justice of the Peace play administrative and civic roles within the structure of the state. In Barbados, we have had a long tradition of having justices of the peace being appointed by governments to assist in the distribution of the administrative side of the um, justice sector, in assisting people in their understanding their civic responsibilities and assisting them in terms of dealing with matters of the state, whether it's applications for licensing or, or for permits or applications for various status uh, under the Immigration Act, citizenship or changes of, of foreign status, um, the verification, authentication and um, validation of documentation, official documents, uh, completing forms and those sort of things become complicated for average people. So Justice of the Peace have played very important roles in assisting people in the general community in being able to um, just do what is required in relation to the application process or the licensing process or various different aspects of, of government on a day-to-day -day basis. Justice of the Peace play very, very important roles, um, particularly in the context of, the, of evidence within the court setting. For example, um, applications for search warrants, applications for arrest warrants are made by the police to the Justice of the Peace. So the information has to be presented to a Justice of the Peace to say, we have enough information that is credible, cogent, convincing, and compelable. And we feel that if we don't arrest this person, um, um, person A, a situation might deteriorate or this person has committed a crime. We have very reliable information. Here it is. And we need um, a warrant issued by a justice of the peace for you to sign this warrant so that we can arrest this person to assist with the um, gathering of evidence and the investigation of serious criminal matters. Um, justices of the peace also perform important role in terms of the authentication of the chain of custody of evidence. For example, in drugs matters, dangerous drugs cases, cases where other substances have to be authenticated or in where forensic DNA um, um, has the intimate samples are taken from persons in serious sexual assault cases. Justices of the peace are there to validate and authenticate that the sample is, is taken from a bulk, a, bulk, a bulk source and that is a replica of what is, what is in there and then the chain of custody has to be verified, seals have to be signed. So that they play important roles to ensure that that chain of custody is, is maintained and the integrity of the gathering of that evidence is maintained so that when you go to court there is no question that this sample came from the actual original source. Under the Evidence Act in Barbados there are other aspects of the role of justice of the peace that they may perform. Indeed, under the Farm, Lic uh, Farm Licenses Act and in terms of liquor licenses, there are administrative roles and some civic um, and, and adjudicative roles that justices of the peace play. For example, a justice of the peace may determine that as a result of some riot or tumult or some civil disturbance within the community, that it may be necessary for the suspension of a liquor license at a particular locale. And that is a, a discretion that they have that they have to exercise. There's a revising period where the jurors, the juries list has to be revised. The justices of the peace are appointed because they know of the community and they are sufficiently respected within the community to know of and have a gauge of what is going on in their communities at large, so that they are required by law every revising year um, to sit and revise the list of jurors who will sit in the criminal assizes in the major criminal ca um, cases in, in Barbados. So there are important civic and administrative roles that they perform within the context of our, our Barbadian society that facilitate the administration of justice, that facilitate um, the, the, the dealing with, as I said, with licenses, applications. Um, they are also there to um, advise people, for example, justices of the peace uh, are there to advise the general public 
um, about oaths, affirmations and declarations. What are they? Um, people might say um, they sound like the same thing, but an oath is uh, you swear that the information that you are giving is true and you swear to God that that is true. Some people might have a religious reservation in doing so, so they would make an affirmation without direct reference to God. And then there are certain um, important things that have to be declared, that I declare that this is so, so that the general public might have some concern, they might have some hesitation about what they are required to do in a particular setting, and the Justice of the Peace is there within the community to provide assistance in guiding them through the process that is required to fulfill the requirements of a particular application or a particular um, document. Um, Justice of the Peace also validate wills, um, um, deeds and, and other documents as are required. Um, and there are people who have to certify life certificates for pensions um, from overseas or, or even here in Barbados or to certify certain occasions have um, been met depending on what the circumstances are. So the Justice of the Peace provide that validation certificate for, for those instances as well. So there are several areas in which these very important public functionaries have to operate so as to facilitate the community in their ordinary official business as they go about their day-to-day -day lives. Justices of the Peace are chosen by recommendation from the members of Parliament. And, and people might say that that is a political thing, but um, who better than a member of parliament to give um, advice and recommendation as the persons within the community who are outstanding, who are respected by the, the community at large. In fact, I don't think we've ever had a situation in Barbados where communities are saying that the politics has affected their ability to, to find a justice of the peace that is able to discharge their functions in a fair-minded, independent and impartial manner. We have never had that, that challenge. And in fact, we have had changes of government in Barbados so regularly that um, you will find that even if it is tilted in favor of one political party, it is rectified within 10 to 15 years or so. But generally speaking, justices of the peace are persons who rise above the political fray and who are respected within, within their communities as persons of integrity, of high integrity, high principle, and, and persons who are generally seen to be impartial and independent and, and, and do not exercise any political um, judgment in relation to the discharge of their civic responsibilities. Well, a justice of the peace has a discretion to exercise and there's no law that requires them to meet any request, even if it is from the police or if it is from an, a normal citizen. So if the, the documentation does not add up, if the information does not add up, they have a discretion that they should exercise. And that is why they are normally chosen from amongst those persons in the community who have um, uh, exemplified the highest standards of conduct morality and probity and, and, and in, in their public and private affairs and some respectability within their community as community leaders, persons who the community naturally gravitates towards. So that we can respect that if the, the police were to put information that was sketchy, um, a justice of peace could well say, look, this information does not add up and I, I, I don't think that this I'm going to sign this arrest warrant. Indeed, there is a process because once that warrant is signed, a search warrant or arrest warrant is signed by Justice of Peace, he must, he or she must immediately notify the magistrate for the district that this warrant has been signed. So there is some other layers that are added to, to give some kind of accountability to, to the exercise of that discretion by a Justice of the Peace. Equally, on, on the private individuals and private citizens, business. If you present a set of documents for, let's say, immigration application and naturalization and so on, and it doesn't add up, the Justice of the Peace should exercise the correct discretion to say that I am not authentic authenticating this document or validating these documents because these are not correct. 
on, on the Justice of Peace might probably point out to you that if you sign a statutory declaration that the information is accurate, um, there might be penalties imposed in various statutes and the Justice of Peace will be well advised to advise that citizen that um, a false declaration might end up with, with them facing some kind of criminal or civil sanction or penalty. So that they're trained um, before they're appointed. Their, their, their roles and responsibilities are well explained to them and they, they, they are, they are, there's a lot of guidance that they're given so that they, they are persons who can really appreciate and understand the significance of their role. It is a role for which there's no reward monetarily, but is an important role within the context of a, a civil society and, and, and assisting our citizens at large in being able to go about their official business when they are required to do so with, with, with that um, a person within the community to assist them, advise them and give them guidance and counsel when it's required.